write a polynomial with degree 4 having zeros at negative 5, negative 2, 4, and 5, and a leading coefficient of negative 2. So the thing you have to remember here is that every one of those zeros started out as a factor. So if x equals negative 5, to turn it back into a factor, you just add 5 to both sides and get x plus 5 equals 0. And that makes x plus 5 one of our factors. When x equals negative 2, we add 2 to both sides so that the right side becomes 0. And that makes x plus 2 one of our factors. And then if x equals 4, that's one of our zeros. This time we're going to subtract 4 from both sides. And that gives us a factor of x minus 4. And the last 0 is at x equals 5. So if we subtract 5 from both sides, we get x minus 5 equals 0. And that gives us a factor of x minus 5. So now I have all my factors. And I can write my function. It's going to be some constant times x plus 5 times x plus 2 times x minus 4 times x minus 5. And we find a, it's got to be negative 2 because they told us that this is the leading coefficient. So my final answer is that f of x, got to get it to be bigger, f of x equals negative 2 times x plus 5 times x plus 2 times x minus 4 times x minus 5. And there it is in factored form, not simplified as was requested. Oh, and I guess they call this p. I made a mistake. So they call this p instead of f of x. Now, if you want to be sure, I took this function and I graphed it using Desmos. And here's what I found. Lost it. Is that not going to copy? Guess not. Anyway, this is a graph of um, polynomial p here, only I had to shrink it because it was up in the hundreds for the largest y and down in the thousands for the, lar the smallest y. So I shrunk it so it would fit. But the thing we want to pay attention to is these zeros. There's one at negative 5, like the problem asked for. There's one at negative 2, which the problem asked for. There's one at 4, like the problem asked. And here's the 0 at 5. So we have the correct polynomial.